What's up guys? So I wanted to come and talk about the Steam Link today. So the Steam Link is this little box from Valve. Ooh, see the Valve? Valve. Um, what's not to love? I mean, this thing has solved a major problem that I had in my house. Um, I have my office computer, which is my gaming computer, on my third floor. I live in a row house, so there's three floors in the house, and I didn't want to live in my office. So what this little guy has enabled me to do is stream Steam's big picture directly from the third floor to my first floor, and I can game from the comfort of my own couch. Um, I went ahead and I bought a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, which both hook up to this via these little guys. Ooh, dongles. Dongle. The only negative side is that every once in a while the program either crashes or it doesn't start up properly. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, also, it doesn't have nearly enough USB ports. I don't know if you can see it. It's just focused on my face. It's focused on focus, 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 focus. Um, it's not going to focus. Anyways, so there are only three USB ports on this. I hate that. Let me tell you why. Because I have my mouse and my keyboard and the Steam controller hooked up. That takes up all my ports. So if I wanted a game with two people, I have to plug in one thing, unplug another thing, and then plug in a second controller for whoever else is playing with me. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't happen very often. So there's that. Um, that's the only downside, the two, the two downsides to this little guy. The other thing is when I was trying to get controllers to work with this, I first started using an Xbox One controller. I couldn't get, uh, I purchased a wireless receiver, the one that you would use with your PC, and people online say that they can get it done, I could, couldn't get it to work. Um, they say that the Xbox 360 one worked a lot better, but I wasn't about to go purchase another dongle, like a, a receiver for that, because it's just like, I went ahead and I went and got the um, Steam controller, which that'll be part two of this video. The thing about it is, is you can use any USB controller that you might have just laying around. Um, and I think it's only next gen. I used a, an Xbox 360 Afterglow and it worked fine. Um, another thing I will tell you about this, because games for Steam were not necessarily set up with a controller. So people have to make their own sort of key bindings to the controller, um, which is a whole thing that I will get into in the next video. So anyway, I hope this video helped solve your problems with the Steam Link um, or help you figure out if you just wanted to purchase it or not. It solved a huge problem in my house um, and then I bought this to myself. It's not like they send these things to me. Like I buy all of these things for myself for my own use and I just review them because I buy more obscure stuff and I just want to see if I can help you guys out um, in the process. So anyways. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out new week, uh, new videos weekly, and um, I hope you guys enjoy my stuff. If you guys have any questions, put them in the description below, uh, and I will try and answer the ones that I can answer, or, you know, respond to the ones that I can respond to. So anyways, thanks guys.